Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Solar Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this podcast is all about spirituality and metaphysics and the occult and so, so much more. So this video was requested on my Instagram because I posted a tweet on my stories. And the tweet was by Gigi Young, who films a lot of YouTube videos. And I also follow her on Twitter. So I shared her tweet to my stories and then one of you lovely people responded to it and asked me to film a video on it and elaborate on it because she wanted to understand it even further. So I figured we would do a whole video and we can talk about this because I have touched on it in a previous video. I can't remember which one because I do tend to talk about this a lot but I've never just sat down and filmed a full video solely on this. So I'm going to read you the tweet and then we can delve into it. So she put, Gigi Young wrote and tweeted, there is a pattern in the new age and conspiracy communities. First of all, I hate the phrase new age. These are not new teachings. These are ancient teachings that have been around for a very, very, very long time, long before the modern scientists and long before social media. So I don't really like the phrase new age, but obviously that's kind of what it's been labeled. And I feel like it's been labelled that deliberately to water it down and all of that, but we're not going to go into that. So anyway, New Age and Conspiracy is another word I don't like because the CIA created it, but whatever. So those communities, um, there's a pattern in the New Age and Conspiracy communities to detach from our connection to the organic earth evolution paradigm and our spirit by giving our power away to parent-like beings Ironically, most of the entities are 4D rooted and are looking to harvest humanity. So obviously, like, this sounds very out there, a little bit crazy and a little bit, like, um, weird, I guess, for lack of a better word. Like, if somebody is not studying metaphysics or the occult or anything like that, then when you read a tweet like that, you're obviously going to be like, what the fuck is she even talking about? But... For me, it makes perfect sense because what she's trying to explain is that um, oftentimes when you go down these rabbit holes of understanding um, the 1% and the people that have the money and make all the decisions in terms of the laws and things like that with the collective, um, you can tend to feel like they're a parent, like they have more power than you, like they own you essentially and like you need their say so or their approval to be able to do things especially when it comes to the justice system and things like laws and that kind of thing like it can feel like they're your parents and we tend to fall in this kind of weird dynamic or like a trap of a dynamic feeling like they have all the power and we have nothing and we kind of what she said was that we detach from our connection to the organic earth evolution paradigm and our spirit. So it's like we detach from our own power and the fact that we're all souls and that just because we're in this illusory um, paradigm or this illusory reality where a certain percentage have power, meaning financial and e like economic kind of power, um, over the collective and stuff like it feels like they own us and they have more than us but we forget that we're also souls and that all of us are experiencing a human experience and that they die just like we do you know like their body decays just like ours does and all of these kind of things so it's like especially especially when you start looking at conspiracy theories and you go down the rabbit hole of the horrible things that are happening and all of the corruption and stuff this is just from my own experience because it's something that I have done most definitely like I found myself wanting to research everything and just being so mind blown by the awful things that happen that it, it just consumes you like you kind of lose your mind <laughs> and you lose um, the higher perspective I feel like it kind of limits you and she said about how they're in 4d like it restricts your perception level or your mentality to where like for me I feel like you go into the conspiracies first but then eventually you start to go past that and you like see it from an even higher perspective than that and some people tend to get stuck there 
in all of the corruption and the horrible things because they're so traumatic and they trigger so many negative emotions and you find yourself wanting to change it and do something about it and like it can get frustrating and make you want to tell all of your family and everybody that you know and just wake them up and shake them and make them read the articles read the books watch the videos and actually see it for themselves like you literally just want to make people snap out of it but I've come to realize now that the um, deeper you go into your own shadow work, not just reading about external history, not just reading about external experiences and memories and things that have happened here, but also doing your own internal work and understanding your own belief system, your own generational trauma and things that have happened in the past throughout the generations, even your own past lives as well, because we do carry over karmic cycles and karmic lessons from past lives. So like, Doing your own internal work really connects you to source and connects you to your higher self and all aspects of yourself. And that I feel like eventually it can break the, I don't know what to call it, like the tunnel vision of looking at awful things. I feel like you can get in a trap of like trauma porn, like you get addicted to it and you just want to know more, you want to learn more, you want to figure it out because you want to change it and people get so passionate about it and I think it's amazing but at the same time it's always to the detriment of our own mental health because we are one person and whilst every single person has a huge huge impact on the collective, at the same time doing your own inner work is so important because we have such an impact on the whole collective so like there's only so much external change you can do without doing the internal for me it just brings it back to yourself it brings it back to your relationship with yourself because oftentimes especially when you start going down a spiritual path it can trigger your ego like shit and some people when they don't have self-awareness and I can even say that I've done this when you don't have self-awareness you don't even realize that you're coming from a place of ego like even wanting to wake people up is coming from your ego it's not coming from your higher self because your higher self knows that everybody is going to wake up in their own time and even if they don't this experience is just one experience it's just one lifetime it's just one angle of perception and they're still consciousness like you're not better than them because they're still fractals of consciousness just like you are do you know what I mean like so I feel like there's different ways to look at it, different levels to look at it, and all of them can be valid and right and real at the same time. So for me, it's just about like, even though it's good to understand the truth of what's happening, I don't want to call it a conspiracy because it's not a conspiracy, like it's a it's actual truth, you know, and obviously the CIA created that phrase or whatever, so we're not even going to call it that. Like when you're searching for the truth, even when you find things that aren't real and that are lies or whatever, the process and the even intent of wanting to find the truth, I feel like that's such a good thing and a beneficial thing in a um, reality full of deception, you know, like there's been a lot of deception for a lot of time. So I feel like even having the intent and the will and the desire and drive to find out the truth and to constantly want to know it is an incredible thing. But at the same time, a lot of the truth that you actually need, the truth that you can integrate and use within your daily life is something that's within you and not something that's external. The things that we actually need to implement is shadow work. The things that we actually need to implement is understanding our own thoughts and our own beliefs, our own emotions and being able to regulate them, you know, so that we can have better relationships while we're here. Because at the end of the day, like the main thing that we do in life when we're here on earth is we have connections, we have relationships, we have friendships, we have family. Like without that, everything would be pretty boring and kind of meaningless, you know? Like, I swear they even say that um, loneliness and isolation is, like, the most traumatic thing because, I mean, people go stir-crazy when they're in solitude and stuff. We need interaction. We need connection. So all of this is just to say that self-awareness is essential no matter what kind of area of life it is that you're looking at and also to not get caught up on just one thing but kind of do all of it you know look at the truth of certain things look at metaphysics look at astrology look at all of them but 
You don't have to just do one of them or become obsessed with just one of them. I just feel like it's important to stay grounded and to stay very aware of yourself and aware of your own mind and everything about yourself and like keeping your connection to your higher self so that you don't get consumed by this external reality because we all know that it can be extremely difficult here and like ugh, just tiring and exhausting and draining and all of those kind of things but then at the same time it can also be incredible it can also be filled with so much love and so much joy so just having that balance within yourself and being able to stay grounded within yourself and connected to yourself to all aspects including your higher self will really really benefit you no matter what area of metaphysics or history it is that you decide to look at or even the present because there's a lot of trauma going on in the present time as well so yeah just having that connection with yourself is so so essential and I feel like that is the basis of what she was saying in the tweet so I really hope this video was helpful thank you so so much for listening and watching I really appreciate you definitely check out the description box below for everything about me links to my music my social media my phone number because I send daily spiritual and um what was the other word I was looking for I send daily spiritual thoughts and videos as well as links to my jewelry brand elemental mirror and also one-to-one -one sessions with me if you would like to book a session with me and I will see you in the next episode bye I know I need you to stay I know that love don't mean safe.